Hello there. My name is Mike Bennett, and I'm an author and podcaster. Uh, and I'm more I'm more known for podcasting really than than um, authoring. But uh, what I podcast is what I've authored. You know, I'm I'm a writer, story writer, and novelist, and uh, I I tend to podcast my works as free podcast audiobooks. Although you can buy them if you wish, and uh, rent them as well from libraries, as as uh, as you can probably find out where you are. Uh, but anyway, yeah. So that's what I do. Um, my most famous work, the thing I'm probably most well known for, is is a, a horror slash vampire. Uh, slash adventure story called Underwood and Flinch. Here's a picture. Um, but anyway, so I'll, I'll just get to the questions which I've been sent and uh, yeah, I'll do my best to answer them. What made you want to become an author? I don't know. Same as everybody else, I guess. You know, I, I, when I was a kid, I used to love reading. I've always loved reading and stories and uh you know tv and movies you know the the, the whole writing um, full stop has always been very attractive to me um and specifically what made me want to become an author i think if i had to sort of pick a moment it might be in the 80s when the twilight zone series was being shown in the uk and um i bought uh, the the Twilight Zone Companion by Mark Scott Zikri and there was a picture in there of Rod Serling and he was leaning on his typewriter and he just looked so cool and I thought I want to be like him and so that was probably the moment that I, I decided I wanted to become a writer. So what is my favourite book of all time? I uh, I liked very much the the flashman series by george mcdonald fraser uh, if you haven't read those then i i recommend those highly um i like I like dracula i like salem's lot uh predictably perhaps um i i don't know i really enjoyed fingersmith by sarah waters these are the ones that sort of stick out in my mind um as i think um about books i've enjoyed um so yeah, I, I I can't really pin one down, but that kind of stuff. Next question: Give me a brief description of your newest book. Well, my newest book, uh, at least as far as libraries are concerned, would be um, Underwood and Flinch again, um, which is available as an audio book, which you can rent from the library, or as an ebook, which I presume you can rent from the library. I don't know. Um, what's it about? Ooh, uh, if I said it's a vampire story, I'd be selling it short. But it is a vampire story. Well, there's a vampire in it. Um, but I think it's more really about um, the family who who sort of serve the vampire. And there's you know there's this, there's a brother who doesn't want to be the servant of the vampire, uh, but uh, there's a sister who does, and and they they're kind of there's a conflict between them. You know, one's good, one's evil. Uh, and then um, it's 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 set in Spain in a British expatriate community in Spain. There's a, there's also a Russian mafia uh, thread in there to make things even more uh, <laughs> kind of diverse, I suppose. But um, yeah, it, it's 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 complicated. It's too complicated to give a brief description of. But um, I think you'll like it if you like if you like horror stories and you like adventure stories because there's a historical section to it which is very adventure filled. Um, if you like that kind of thing, I think you'll enjoy it. Um, Underwood and Flinch. Do check it out. I mean, it's free, so why not? And the last question: How did your local library impact your love of reading and writing? Well, uh, like most people, when I was a little kid, uh, I used to go to the library all the time and, and, and get lots and lots of books out with my mum and um, read them. Um, the Dr. Seuss books, I think, were my favourite. I read all of them again and again and again and again and again. And, uh, and then I think perhaps really um, the biggest impact that the library made upon my life um, would be when I was in my late teens and early 20s and I was working in a factory, foundry, um, and uh, my hands were very busy, you know, doing the job, but my brain was very bored, you know, kind of because it, it didn't have anything to do, you know. I mean, this book's very manual, very repetitive, and uh, my brain was up here atrophying, you know. So um, what, I, what I hit upon was uh, books on tape, 
because that you know there was no audible and stuff like that back in those days so it was all books on tape and um i, I couldn't afford them they were very expensive so i used to go to my local library and and get as many as i could i think i got through all of them in fact i know i did i got through everything that the library had and then when i got through everything the library had I ordered in more stock from other libraries and listened to all of that as well. And I listened to everything. I listened to the, the Flashman books. I listened to the James Bond books, the Agatha Christie books, the Sherlock Holmes books. Um, I listened to all kinds of books by people I'd never heard of. They introduced me to a great many writers. Um, but also I read in other genres that I wouldn't normally have, have bothered to read um, as well, like romance and, and westerns and all, all kinds of stuff, science fiction just everything um, and I loved everything because it, it made my day interesting and and full of wonderful things that otherwise it would not have been so that was the, the big um, the big impact of libraries in in my life I guess that's it uh, from from me thank you for for listening I hope you in, enjoyed it and uh, that perhaps you would like to listen to Underwood and Flinch uh, which you can get from here in the library as, a, as an audiobook or an ebook, or alternatively just download the podcast download what am i talking about stream stream the podcast it's available in all the podcast apps and 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 yeah so please do listen thank you for your time bye bye